Oh, yo, what's up, guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action, back on Heartbeat. And today I want to talk to you about the upcoming World of Warcraft expansion, The War Within. I'm going to be playing it. And uh, yeah, there's been some alpha previews. There's a trailer out. Let's look at some of my favorite moments, and then I'm going to ask you a couple of questions while I go here. Because I want to know if you're playing it, and if you are, where are you playing? I'd like to join up with you and maybe have some fun. All right, here is Heartbeat. Let's look at it, and let's start with the War Within Alpha Warbands, moment one. More than half of World of Warcraft players play two or more characters. In the upcoming expansion, The mm -hmm. War Within, the entire character roster is leveling up with Warbands. All right, so this is the first new mechanic. And, well, all I can say is for those of you that have day jobs and are busy, maybe you've got families, kids, I don't know, whatever, jobs, this is very interesting. The new mechanic's going to allow us to level up all of our characters at once. What an interesting concept. I'm going to actually super like this because I don't know about you, but I used to have lots of characters on the go. And by the way, I wasn't good at any of them. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, that's the first and that's the biggest thing. Let's skip forward here and talk about what happens when you first log in. Second moment here. When a player first logs into the War Within, they'll be presented with the new character selection screen. Yeah. Here, players can assign up to four of their favorite characters, Horde and Alliance alike, to be displayed in front of a World of Warcraft themed scene. All characters on a player's respective account, regardless of what server they're on, are considered part of their warband and combined into a single convenient list. There you go. So there we go. They're going to combine it all together so it's not going to be, oh, for the Horde or uh, whatever. Uh, you can have it all on one uh, convenient screen, which will be very cool. So that's the second big thing that they're changing. Let's look at the mailing resources between characters in the past uh, I remember going to Stormwind or whatever and putting money in the in one of the little things and then I would send money to my other character. It sounds like they've solved this. Let's look at this next. Gone are the days of players mailing precious resources between their characters. In The War Within, there is a new dedicated bank tab for sharing all non-soulbound items among a player's roster. Very cool. Let's keep going. Hundreds of inventory slots can be unlocked across multiple bank tabs purchasable with gold. Or that a player mines on one character can be put into the bank tab yeah. and then be used by another character to create an armor set through their blacksmithing profession. So there you go. The sharing of resources is getting, it's getting considered here. So that previously frustrating thing where your level 70 would have to send or your level 60 would send money to your level 8 yeah, it looks like they've solved that. So let's skip forward a little bit here. And uh, let's go ahead and look at, yeah, let's look at the experiences. Like uh, they talk about blacksmithing here and how this changes your professions, that is. Let's go. Leveraging the expertise of a player's entire warband, crafting and leveling up profession skills are yep. now more efficient. As players complete quest lines and gain factions trust, they will be earning a variety of different currencies. In the War Within, many currencies are no longer locked in the wallets of each character and can be transferred across the warband. In addition, flight paths across all of Azeroth are available for all players' characters as soon as they're discovered. What? That's so cool. Do you guys remember having, when you get into one of your new characters and you'd have to walk from like one side of the world to the other side because you don't have the flight path? Or you got to go get them. Well, look at that. This is cool stuff, guys. This is actually uh, real cool. I remember, I, although I did love the, uh, you know, five-hour walks. Um, yeah, you know what? Universal Flight Paths is pretty cool. Not going to lie about it. All right, now let's get into the next moment here where they talk about Warbound until equipped gear. This is a completely new mechanic. You're going to love it. As players progress through the War Within they'll come across pieces of gear that are warbound until equipped. Yeah. These can be sent to and equipped by their other characters, enabling players to increase a warband member's power. Slime deflecting stopper. That sounds awesome. Warbound until equipped. That is very cool. Let's listen in a little more about this. However, once equipped, it can no longer be passed around. Ooh. This essentially allows players to play on one character while potentially gearing up others at the same time. While adventuring in current or long past content, warbands also make finding and collecting new looks, also known as transmogs, easier. 
Once looted and equipped, the mm. item's aesthetics automatically populate to all Warband characters who can also wear that armor type. If a player's cloth user cool. is doing a transmog run of an older raid and plate gear drops, it's now added to their collection. Red oh, you don't have to sell it and just keep going over and over and over until you get exactly what you want. This is very, very interesting, guys. So there you go. Again, I'm no expert at World of Warcraft. It's been years since I've played it. But wow, this new this new expansion looks pretty damn cool. It looks cool for guys like me, you know, who have day jobs and, you know, I've got a dog and I've got, you know, things to do. Yet I still want to play and I don't want to grind laboriously. So what do you guys think about this? Are you going to be playing it? First question. Second question. Are you playing it now already? Are you in the Dragonflight expansion waiting for the next one? Leave a comment below, guys. This is very interesting to me because I would like to join up and maybe if you know what you're doing, maybe you can show me the ropes again because I'm going to be making video content on this. So again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching.